I'm Chris Chamberlain. I'm a big fan of Charleston as a culinary destination, but lately I've been hearing a lot about the barbecue scene. We're going to check out some of the hottest places in town cooking low and slow. Well, what I do with a whole hog is once it's done, we flip it over and I season it on the pit and I mop it right there on the pit. So my whole hog comes off ready to eat with sauce and everything already on it as opposed to some guys, they'll take it off and then sauce it before it hits the table. Is there a Charleston style of barbecue? I would have to say it's being created. In my personal opinion, I think barbecue is evolving to where fine dining once was. Everybody is kind of interested in more barbecue at least once, twice a week than they are fine dining. It appears that a lot of people just want to come and try a little simple food first and then go back and try some fine dining. The neat thing about barbecue is that there's like no barbecue school you can really go to, like culinary school. There's no set way of doing it. So everyone just kind of figures out their own style a little bit and I think it's just kind of a melting pot like anything goes with barbecue. A lot of room for experimentation and innovation. In just a few block radius here where we're at, um, you can have our Texas style barbecue. You can get Rodney Scott's, the whole hogs, South Carolina style barbecue. You can get Home Team who's doing like chef driven sort of things with barbecue. So there's three different things right in one area. And so it kind of makes it a perfect like barbecue destination tour spot. I think the Charleston style of barbecue right now is, is a bunch of different styles. And that's always been our style. And I think with some of the folks you're seeing these days in these parts, you're seeing a lot of diversity. You have distinct styles that are here, but they're all different. For a while, we were, everybody was going away from traditional methods and trying to take lots and lots of shortcuts and you know, to, to the point where people weren't even using wood at all. But I, I think people are really trying to go back to the basics somewhat and then be creative with it as well.